Question 1. Which type of immune cell is primarily responsible for producing antibodies in response to an infection? A. T cells. B. Natural killer cells. C. B cells. D. Macrophages. Answer, C, B cells. Question 2. What is the primary function of memory T cells in the immune system? A. Producing antibodies. B. Directly attacking infected cells. C. Initiating the inflammatory response. D. Recognizing and responding to previously encountered pathogens. Answer, D, recognizing and responding to previously encountered pathogens. Question 3, which of the following is a characteristic feature of the adaptive immune response? A, it provides immediate protection upon exposure to a pathogen. B, it relies on physical barriers like the skin for defense. C, it exhibits specificity and memory. D, it is the first line of defense against infections. Answer, C, it exhibits specificity and memory. Question 4, what is the primary role of dendritic cells in the immune system? A, producing antibodies. B, phagocytosing pathogens. C. Initiating the inflammatory response. D. Antigen presentation and activation of T cells. Answer. D. Antigen presentation and activation of T cells. Question 5. Which of the following immunoglobulin classes is the most abundant in human serum and plays a crucial role in providing passive immunity to newborns? A. IgA B. IgD C. IgG D. IgG Answer, D, IgG. Question 6. Which type of hypersensitivity reaction involves the production of Ig antibodies and is associated with allergies like hay fever and asthma? A, type 1. B, type 2. C, type 3. D, type 4. Answer, A, type 1. Question 7, what is the primary function of cytotoxic T cells in the immune system? A, producing antibodies. B, regulating the immune response. C, phagocytosing pathogens. D, killing infected host cells. Answer, D, killing infected host cells. Question 8, which of the following is a key component of the innate immune system that recognizes patterns associated with a wide range of pathogens and initiates an early immune response? A, B cells. B, T cells. C, toll-like receptors, TLRs. D, memory cells. Answer, C, toll-like receptors, TLRs. Question 9, 
Which of the following is a characteristic of the secondary, adaptive, immune response? A. It occurs immediately after the first exposure to a pathogen. B. It has a slower and weaker response compared to the primary response. C. It produces a larger quantity of antibodies. D. It is primarily mediated by macrophages. Answer, C, it produces a larger quantity of antibodies. Question 10, which immune cell type is responsible for orchestrating and regulating the immune response, acting as the commander of the immune system? A, B cells. B, T cells. C, natural killer cells. D, macrophages. Answer, B, T cells. Question 11, what is the primary function of antibodies in the immune system? A, initiating the inflammatory response. B, phagocytosis of pathogens. C, killing infected cells directly. D, binding to and neutralizing pathogens. Answer, D, binding to and neutralizing pathogens. Question 12, which of the following statements about vaccines is true? A, vaccines can only prevent viral infections, not bacterial infections. B, vaccines work by treating diseases after infection has occurred. C, vaccines stimulate the immune system to develop immunity without causing the disease. D. Vaccines are typically administered only to individuals who are already infected. Answer, C. Vaccines stimulate the immune system to develop immunity without causing the disease. Question 13. What is the main function of the thymus gland in the context of the immune system? A. Producing antibodies. B. Filtering and removing pathogens from the bloodstream. C. Maturation and selection of T cells. D. Storing memory cells for future immune responses. Answer, C, maturation and selection of T cells. Question 14, which immunological process involves the body's immune system mistakenly attacking its own tissues, leading to autoimmune diseases? A, antibody production. B, T cell activation. C, immune tolerance. D, immune memory. Answer, C, immune tolerance. Question 15, what is the term for the process by which a pathogen is recognized and remembered by the immune system, allowing for a faster and stronger immune response upon subsequent exposure? A, antigen presentation. B, immune suppression. C, immunization. D, immune memory. Answer, D, immune memory. Question 16, which type of immune response is responsible for defending the body against extracellular pathogens such as bacteria and parasites? A, cellular immune response. B, innate immune response. C, 
humoral immune response. D. Autoimmune response. Answer, C, humoral immune response. Question 17, which specialized white blood cells are responsible for engulfing and digesting invading pathogens, cellular debris, and foreign substances in a process known as phagocytosis? A, T cells. B, B cells. C, natural killer cells. D, macrophages. Answer, D, macrophages. Question 18, which component of the immune system is primarily responsible for preventing the entry of pathogens through physical and chemical barriers? A, antibodies. B, lymphocytes. C, cytokines. D, innate immunity. Answer, D, innate immunity. Question 19, which class of antibodies is often found in mucosal secretions like saliva, tears, and breast milk, providing a first line of defense at mucosal surfaces? A, IgA. B, IgG. C, IgM. D, IgA. Answer, A, IgA. Question 20, what is the term for the phenomenon in which exposure to a harmless substance, such as pollen or certain foods, triggers an exaggerated and inappropriate immune response, leading to symptoms like sneezing, itching, and difficulty breathing? A, immunization. B, hypersensitivity. C, autoimmunity. D, immunodeficiency. Answer, B, hypersensitivity. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.